welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Let's see. Uh, where, where were we when we last met? Oh, right. The big story continues to be Supreme Court nominee and man like 80% sure he's going to make it to the bathroom in time. <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh. See, Kavanaugh's confirmation has been thrown into turmoil since he was accused of sexual assault by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. Now, Dr. Ford's willing to testify, but she wants an FBI investigation first. That idea was shot down by Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman and geriatric meerkat... <laughs> Chuck Grassley, who said, it's not the FBI's role to investigate a matter such as this. Of course not. I mean, it's right there in their name. The Federal Bureau of I don't know what that last letter stands for. No one knows. Clean up that little top there. I have this on, you can hear me when I'm talking. But Grassley wants to assure her that someone's on the case, writing, I certainly understand and respect Dr. Ford's desire for an investigation into her allegations. That is precisely what the Senate is doing. Okay, maybe. But have you seen who's on the Senate Judiciary Committee? I wouldn't trust those geezers to investigate a restaurant menu. I would like a scoop of chicken salad served in half a cantaloupe. Uh, sir, you're speaking to a mailbox. <laughs> okay, tuna salad on pineapple. <laughs> now, Grassley says it's not appropriate for the FBI to investigate, and he's insisting Blasey Ford must testify on Monday and has set a 10 a.m. Friday as the deadline to hear back from her. Obviously. Got to. The U.S. Senate is known for two things. Moving at lightning speed. <laughs> and not caring what abused women have to say about Supreme Court nominees. I think... I think... I think Monday is going to be a fast-paced thrill ride. Dr. Blasey Ford, thank you so much for coming in. We want to hear everything that's happened in as much detail as you can. So, Jimmy, let's put five seconds on the clock! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, we couldn't hear you because we don't care. <laughs> now, here's the thing. They don't actually need to hear testimony on Monday. It's a totally artificial deadline that they are setting for themselves. It's like when you say to your friend, okay, if we're not married by the time we're 30, we'll meet up and confirm an accused sexual predator to the Supreme Court. <laughs> At least we won't be lonely. <laughs> Grassley also boasted that they've given Dr. Blasey Ford options for her testimony. Where I'm focused right now is doing everything that we can to make uh, Dr. Ford comfortable with coming before our committee, either in an open session or a closed session or a public or a private uh, interviews. That's four different ways she can choose to come. Yes, she's got four ways. She can testify in a box. She can testify with a fox. I do not like this mouthy ma'am. I'd rather hear from Lindsey Graham. <laughs> the witness will answer the question. Now, no surprise, Democrats are upset, especially Hawaii senator and woman who looks like she has to work with Chuck Grassley. <laughs> Maisie Hirono. On Tuesday, Senator Hirono called everyone out. Well, half of everyone. But really, guess who's perpetuating all of these kinds of ac actions? It's the men in this country. And I just want to say to the men in this country, just shut up and step up. Wait, wait, wait. But don't look at me. Wait. Don't, I don't, wait, hold on. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. We wait. We want to. Senator, we want to. But you know how fragile our masculinity is? <laughs> we don't even buy loofahs. We use the Axe Detailer Shower Tool. <laughs> it's black and it looks like part of a socket red scent because loofahs are for ladies. <laughs> Meanwhile, and I don't want to shock anyone, Donald Trump is still president. <laughs> and this week, President Trump ordered the Justice Department to declassify secret documents 
related to the investigation of Russian meddling in our election. He did this in an ongoing investigation, despite the fact that the intelligence community voiced their opposition to the move because it potentially jeopardizes the security of American intelligence assets. But he's the president, and I would certainly hope he has a good reason. But I would certainly be wrong, because... <laughs> When he was asked what is in the documents, he said, I have not reviewed them. <laughs> yes, he hasn't reviewed them. That takes too long. It's like the Apple user agreement. You just scroll to the bottom and click treason. <laughs> so... Thank you very much. So why is President Trump uh, doing it? He explained... I have watched commentators that I respect begging the President of the United States to release them. The great Lou Dobbs, the great Sean Hannity, the wonderful, great Jeanine Pirro, the spectacular My Pillow Guy, <laughs> not to mention the great and powerful self lubricating catheter that is my most trusted advisor. <laughs> Trump. They sell those on Fox. Anyway, <laughs> Trump also addressed the conspiracy theory that his administration is being opposed inside the government by the so-called deep state. But Trump doesn't like that phrase. I don't like to use it because it sounds so conspiratorial. And believe it or not, I'm really not a conspiratorial person. <laughs> oh, I... Uh, <laughs> I choose not. But I wonder who spread the rumor that he was conspiratorial. Must be the same people who faked Obama's birth certificate, stole all those people from his inauguration crowd, and helped Ted Cruz's father kill JFK. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> and... <laughs> and we just found where Trump might be getting those theories about the deep state, because in a new book about Trump's relationship with Vladimir Putin, Washington Post reporter Greg Miller writes, a trained intelligence operative, Putin understood the power of playing to someone's insecurities and ego. Yes, yes, to spot Trump's insecurities and ego. It takes years of KGB training <laughs> and a television. <laughs> and with his high-tech training, Putin started to manipulate Trump with frequent praise for the president. Well, I think it should take more to influence the president than a little shameless flattery. And I know you agree, because you're the smartest audience in the world, am I right? <laughs>